so today what we are going to do is we are going to do a versus video between the Ryobi HP Compact Impact Driver versus the Atomic Compact Impact Driver. All right, so this really isn't that compact when it comes to the Atomic. Uh, the 887 is pretty much almost the same size. It's, it's off by a little bit, but the Ryobi is more compact than the DeWalt is. Unfortunately, Ryobi only makes one battery with 21700 cells in it, and that is the 3 amp hour HP Compact battery, which is P195. All right, I could use, I could use this. This is the 4 amp hour HP battery, but I believe that the Ryobi stands a better chance if we use a 3 amp hour. We are going to use a 4 amp hour battery on the DeWalt, which I think 1 amp hour difference isn't that big enough to make a huge judgment saying that this is completely unfair. This, uh, this test is circumstantial all the way around. This isn't even the correct. I can't go through the model number for this because I actually switched out the anvils. All right, so technically this is an impact wrench. Uh, if, you want, if you want to see what I'm talking about, go to Home Depot's website, look up PSB1W0, sorry, PSB1 one w zero one cn but it says three eighths right here you know so it's a three eighths inch anvil that's what the original was but i swapped out the anvil so this is actually the impact wrench because the impact driver doesn't have a speed selection The impact wrench has a speed selection. So I actually switched out the anvil and I didn't put them back and I don't want to. Right, so we'll go over the specs really quick and get to it. Alrighty, so for the Ryobi, this is a part of their new HP line. It's a part of their Black Friday sale right now that's happening. I believe you can get this for a hundred bucks. I think I'll put the right price in for right now. So this goes to uh, zero to 2,900 RPM. That's the max and 3,800 impacts per minute. Like I said, uh, this one now has a speed selection, so one, two, three, <laughs> and auto. It's part of their HP line. It feels really good in the hand. I always loved Ryobi's handles. Ryobi has made the best handle, in my opinion, ever in tools. This is perfect. This is a perfect design for my hand, as you can see on how well that just sits in there. It's a perfect design for my hand. And I, I have pretty big hands, so it's I love it. But we will be using a 3 amp hour compact HP battery. This battery does have 21700 cells in it. And this is model number P1. This is model number P195. So if you want to look that up, you can get this for $50 right now at Home Depot. So yeah, that is the Ryobi. All right, for the DeWalt, this is the, the DeWalt Atomic Compact Series. All right, this is model number DCF809, quarter inch text collet. This goes to 0 to 2800 RPM, and that is 100 RPM slower, and 3200 impacts per minute, and that, wow, that is 600 impacts per minute less. No, yeah, 600 impacts per minute less than the Ryobi. Ryobi is 3800. So, uh, try LED beam on the front, which I love that. It beats... Uh, you know, Ryobi does need to get rid of get rid of that light on the base. I put it on the put it around the tool now in the front. Atomic series, both are both of these are brushless motors. We will be using the four amp hour battery, which uh, I got this in the Black Friday sale. Battery is full. Twenty one seven hundred cells. Twenty one seven hundred cells, and the battery for the Ryobi is full as well. So that's pretty much the specs, so let's get to it. All right, so remember when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. Got mine right here. And they're clean. All right, like I said, I could be using this four amp hour HP battery with 18650 cells in it, but I think this would not uh, give Re uh, Ryobi the advantage at all. So I'd rather use a three amp hour battery uh, instead of this one. Uh, so this is, a, like I said, 21,700 cells, 21,700 cells. So this is more even than this would be. So I, 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 I'm not going to lie. I want Ryobi to win this one, but we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. Now, DeWalt fans absolutely hate the Atomic line, but 
I think the Atomic line is pretty good. You know, it's not as good as the XR, but still. Now, both of these are in the Black Friday sales, so well, let's test these out and see what these could actually do against each other. All right, so first we're going to start off with some 6-inch uh, specs. We also are later on going to do 4-inch and 6-inch lags, and we'll see in how well these do. The 6-inch might be above their pay grade, but we will see. We will see. That's what these tests are for. All right, well, uh, I guess we'll do the DeWalt first. We're going to check these one more time. All right, so the battery is full. We'll check them one more time at the end of the video. Right here is good. All right, so 48 hour battery. I'm actually curious to see how well this is going to do. It's going to be a good one. This is going to be a good one. All right, so ready? Uh, ready? Go. Time. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. It is on, oh, let's change it to speed three. All right, so, ready, go. Time. Oh, I'm sorry, the battery is full. Oh, the battery's at three bars, wow. All right, I'm gonna change batteries. I have another one. Nope. Oh, now the battery says it's full. Now the battery says it's full. All right, so let's have DeWalt's take it out. Oh, is the collet quick insert? Yes, it is. Collet is quick insert. All right, so ready? Go. Time. All right, so let's have Ryobi's takes. It's out, is the colic quick insert? Yes, it is. The colic is quit quick insert. That's a good thing. Let's take it out. Ready, go. Time. I do think it does sound like that the DeWalt is, is quieter than the Ryobi. All right, so let's uh, try a six inch by one eighth inch timber lock. Do it right here. I play a little balancing act. Oh, we're using Hilti bits, by the way. Ready? Go. Time. And I forgot to mention the atomic is variable trigger only. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that. Variable trigger only, no speed selection. And the one thing that I love that Ryobi does, along with Milwaukee and Hilti, and Rigid, I believe as well, I, I think Rigid, they put rubber molding on the bottom of their batteries. Because if you have a finished surface at your work area, and you don't have to worry about your uh, battery or tool scratching the surface, because that rubber molding will protect it. All right, so let's put one in for Ryobi. Put it right next to it. Right there is good. Play a little balancing act. All right, so ready, go. Time, up oh, a little more. Time. All right, so let's have DeWalt take its out. All right, so ready. All right, so ready, go. Time. Yeah, the, the DeWalt is definitely quieter. The DeWalt is quieter. Ten, uh, an eight inch timber lock. Right here is good. Ready, go. Time. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. All right, so ready? Go. Time. Time, time, time. I, I will say this. I think the fan, I think the cooling system 
for the Ryobi is spot on because I could my fingers are actually cool right now from uh, from that fan blowing on them. I'm not really feeling the fan with the with the atomic. All right, so ready? Go. Time. Let's have Ryobi take its out. All right, so ready? Go. Time. Yeah, the, the, the Atomic is definitely quieter. With the Atomic, let's do a four inch lag. Let's see on how well this holds up and depending on how well this does, we'll upgrade this to the six, uh, the six inch. If it does poorly, we're going to stop it at the uh, the four the four inch because then there's no point on continuing the six inch if it's going to take like a minute or two to drive it in. All right, let's actually do it right here. All right, so ready? Go. Wow. Time. It did it. It did it. You guys, please just realize that driving in any of these lags is a hard task for any tool to do. These, these tools get majorly uh, hot really quick. All right, so ready? Yep, ready? Go. time it did it now i think the i think they both graduated to the six inch all right so ready go time all right so ryobi is next all right so ready go time they're both doing a good job, in my opinion. They're both doing a fantastic job. All right, after this, we do. We are going to graduate to the 6-inch. We will uh, do a temperature reading after this. Do it right here. That's good. Ready? Go. Time. Yeah, uh, the anvil was majorly skipping on that one. 48, 45. It is cold in here, so that's helping it stay cool. It's in the uh, the mid 50s still. To the mid 50s, it's still cold. All right, so let's have Ryobi do its six inch. All right, so ready? Go. Time. It did it. Now let's do a temperature reading on that. Yeah, at the last uh, inch, it was majorly skipping. 56, 42, 58, 60. See, same thing. It's only like about five degrees uh, more. Where I got it? There, six, 64. 64 degrees. Let's have DeWalt take its out. I think we're going to cut it out right here. All right, so ready? Go. Oh, good job. Time. 
All right, let's have Ryobi take its out. Now, guys, the reason why I do lags and timber locks and stuff like that because three inch, you know, four inch screws are simple. Like the like it, a uh, 12 volt tool can do a three inch screw in seconds, in like in less than a second. So that's why I do these type of types of tests because these are hardcore stress. These are hardcore stress tests on the motor to see if the motor breaks. That's my goal when I do these tests. I want to get the tool to break so you know that it might do the same thing for you if you plan on doing using your tools. All right, so ready? Go. Time. See, like even a Ryobi compact impact driver still could take a six inch lag out and put it in so like that's that's incredible but even a tool like this can do it you know like a ryobi does need to get more cre credit because they are no longer the blue company they are no longer like that their tools now are actually some quality stuff so they both did it they both did it the temperature is still cold yeah 50 60 yeah, 63 degrees, it actually cooled down. It's so luckily I didn't forget. The remaining life of the Ryobi is three bars. Three bars. And the remaining life of the DeWalt is three bars as well for, on a three bar system, four bar system. So they're about the same. They are about the same battery life. All right, so, but pretty much like it always is, it all depends on which. Uh, platform you want to get into. I do think the Ryobi HP Compact Series is a good uh, line to get into, and so is the Atomic. You know, just because it's not the 887 or an XR doesn't mean it's a garbage tool, and just because it's not the fastest impact driver ever made doesn't mean the Ryobi is not a uh, is, doesn't mean Ryobi is a bad tool. They both are good brands. They both are. Uh, DeWalt is, I will say DeWalt is more reliable than Ryobi, but it also depends on how well you take care of your tools. Now you can have a brand new $600 tool, and if you're dropping it a couple times a day from 15 feet high, you know, I can guarantee you that your $600 drill is not going to last long. If you let this stay in dust and you never clean out the motor after your you sanded your uh, drywall mud or whatever, or you keep sawdust in there on the motor, on either of them, it's gonna fry the motor out more. So that's pretty much it. The, these are a part of the Black Friday sales, and so I just wanna show you guys the difference between the two of them in case if you were wondering which one you should get, DeWalt or Ryobi, when it comes to these impacts, because they both are on sale. All right, so if you found this video helpful and entertaining, please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.